Michael. Hi. What are we doing? Well, I've been saying General Nathaniel Ryan. He was a Union general who, who was set, who was called into action after, after General Abraham Lincoln, uh, got when like Camp Jackson was stockpiling ammunition. Okay. So he so what he did to find out if there were southern troops there is Hi, he put on a Hello, hello, hello. Michael's doing his speech here. So they so they put so he put on a big pink bonnet to hide his beard and a big pink evening gown and he it, to, to make himself look like a woman so that they wouldn't shoot him while they but so he hopped in a buggy, drove through, and he found out that that there were southern troops that the that the people who worked at at the at the Camp Jackson Arsenal were planning or for the South they were planning to steal ammunition. So yeah. he drove out and came out with uh, nobody we nobody we couldn't find anything that's the exact number, but we guessed about fifteen hundred soldiers against Frost only seven hundred and fifty. However, they all told us that he had exactly 750, but they never told us how much wine brought back. I see. I'd wait. Okay, but anyway. Yeah? So, after that, so he came back, and this happened. Up here in, on May 10th, 1861. Mm-hmm. So, so, he was, so, and that was... They they didn't really shoot any shots. I mean, after after Frost, who was the general commanding the uh, arsenal, uh-huh. saw how many soldiers there were, he mm-hmm. just surrendered. Like, I see. It was barely a battle. So that was his first battle. The next big thing that he did really got Missouri started in the in the war. Okay. So it was called the Planters House Conference on June eleventh, eighteen sixty one. Yeah. They held it in the Planters House Hotel right here. Okay. So, so he was asking Governor Jackson, who was the governor of Missouri at the time. Yeah. He was he was a very southern person. Okay. Uh, he was hoping he was he was asking if Union troops could could go through Missouri undisturbed. Okay. Being not killed. Basically. Like, <laughs> let me just pass through here, kind yeah. of thing. Yeah. Yeah. So. Since he was for the South, obviously, he refused. Mm-hmm. So, General Lyon declared, you have 10 hours to get out of time before I come and arrest everybody in your courthouse. Really? So, they all ran to the steamboat and and went to... Where did they go, Dr. Prater? But after they ran to the steamboat, where were they going? Oh, they went to... Uh, well, they went to Jeff City first. Then they abandoned the capital because Lyon was fresh on their tails. And in fact, he took over the capital. Oh, yeah? And then they went to Boonville. Remember, they had the Boonville races and lost that battle and went all the way down to Carthage. Do you remember, Michael, we were at that reenactment? Oh, yes. yes we, were. we went to the 150th anniversary of that. Mm-hmm. I tried to go and it was so, the traffic was so bad. It was a little crazy. There's been several of them out there, but we got there very early. <laughs> what else you got? Okay, so, so he came back and everybody was gone. So he took up his capital. Yeah. And then his last battle, the one that he died in, was the Battle of Wilson's Creek, August 10th, 1861. Uh, so they were... So this was, this was one of the really big battles of the Civil War in Missouri. So he was leading the cavalry, and he got shot off his horse. Yeah. It was him right there. Mm-hmm. And... After that, and after that, they accidentally left his remains at the battlefield. Whoops. So uh, then, so then they came back for him uh, after a month, week, two, anyway. Uh-huh. So they came back, and did we ever find out where he was buried? Uh, they moved his body twice. Right moved his body twice? He had a... That body was a comedy of errors. Yeah. Whoops. So, but he was the first general to die in the Civil War, yes, huh? Yes, he was. Wow. So here's a, here's a picture of, I guess, one of his friends, apparently. 
Yeah. One of his graves? One of his graves. <laughs> twice. Gotcha. What is this sword here? Oh, this sword. I tried to look at his sword. Right tried here. to mimic that sword, yeah? Yeah. Uh, I think I got pretty close. That is pretty close. Yeah. Very nice. What's underneath there? Is that wood? Underneath? Yes. Wood, cardboard, so wood. and then this is a real wood, cardboard metal handle. Piece. Oh yeah, Conrad made Hi, Conrad. a belt buckle. You made that back for? Oh yeah. And belt. And belt. Wow, that's awesome. Yeah. Sweet. If you compare it to the actual belt buckle, it looks ex almost exactly the same. Very cool. Anything else? Uh, well, no. I've basically told you everything that I really covered. All the that's great. Main belts. Well, thank you. Okay. That looks really good. Great work. I know. Good job.